We've yeah, been talking please. about Clinton a lot tonight. We've got some damage out there. Yeah, David and the team have been doing a great job tracking these storms. And now our crews in the news department, they're following up, going to these different towns to see what type of damage um, might be. Is Barry ready? Barry Mangold, he has been in Clinton. Okay, and Barry is ready. We want to go ahead and check in with Barry, who has been driving all over Clinton and is at the Clinton airport. Some damage there, Barry. Yeah, Amanda, we are here and actually at the Clinton Airport right now. And thankfully, uh, according to the police chief, there have been no injuries reported with this storm. However, just about every hangar has been damaged, including this one, which was actually flattened. If I were to, if I were to double my height, I would definitely be up to the roof right now. It's, on, it's about under 10 feet. And unfortunately, two different airplanes, three different vehicles were under this uh, it, like under this hangar and so right now the owner tells me they are just assessing the damage trying to make sure uh, and, and just looking around getting inside here for the first time in the past hour like I mentioned the other hangars in this air, at the airport all were damaged to some degree but again no, no injuries according to the police chief and now it's a now it's a game of assessing the damage around town take a listen well, we'll assess the damage uh, during the daylight hours and International Weather Service will determine whether or not this was an actual tornado. And so earlier in the day, early in the night when we were in Clinton, kind of closer to downtown Clinton, there was a, a one body shop with its roof that was ripped off. The police chief said it's not even clear if that was caused by a tornado or just high winds. Outside of that, there was a construction sign tipped over, a power line down, all said not that much considering the potential for this storm. So now here in Clinton, it's a cham it is a game of assessing the damage, but thankfully none too serious. I know that we saw someone who appeared to be the owner of that body shop afterwards, and we went and uh, earlier this evening we went to uh, Arapaho and uh, other areas around there. We did not see any extensive damage in this area. Again, it appears that the most damage here in Clinton is right here in this hangar where which was holding again three airplanes and three or two airplanes excuse me and three vehicles here and for the owner uh, it's just a game of finding out what is insured and what's not thankfully though again no injuries live in Clinton Barry Mangold Oklahoma Zone News 9